I remember one occasion when I was in primary school, I would have been aged six or seven or eight. Six or seven or eight. I was invited over by my friend Daniel to his house for a play date on the weekend or in an afternoon. And one of the first things we did in this play date was play some Mario Kart. Now, this was completely new for me on a multiple on multiple levels. One, I'd never played a Nintendo game before. Two, I'd never played an arcade racer like this before. And three, I had never been player two in a multiplayer game before because when at home when I whenever I'm at home playing video games with my brother I'm always the one who takes up player one and my brother is always player two and that's what how it's always been and so the fact that I was we we started up as Daniel started up the Nintendo gameplay and handed me a controller. The fact that I was player two was something new to me. What I didn't realize is that with a multiplayer game, player one is on the top screen and player two is on the bottom screen. And so when the level started and the racing began, I immediately looked at the top screen as to who I was and where I was. Not even not realizing that I was in fact on the bottom screen and Daniel didn't bother telling me this he must have just assumed that I would have already known and so we started playing and immediately because I was not looking at what my character was actually doing I kept driving off the level I was doing poorly. Um, I kept crashing into things, kept failing, kept, and I fell way, way behind in last place. And Daniel, because he'd played the game, this game so often, and he knew it back to front, he immediately raced ahead to first place and was doing amazing. But. I was looking at the top screen, and so I was watching Daniel's amazing performance of getting into first place, and I assumed that that was me, and I was just amazed, whoa, I've picked up this game pretty well, I know how everything works, I'm going really well, I'm racing ahead. And throughout the level, Daniel kept making comments to me, like saying, why are you doing so bad? What's wrong? Why? And I didn't understand what he was talking about. Because what I was seeing was I was in first place and doing amazing. And I was hitting all the right boosts. I was swerving the traffic. I was playing the game precisely as good as you could play it. But Daniel kept mocking me. And it wasn't until the level was over that Daniel finally revealed to me the truth that I was looking at the wrong screen, that in fact I was in last place and do it a terrible job. So then, after that it ended, I then asked Daniel, okay, sorry about that, can we have a rematch? Because I think it's a bit unfair that I didn't know what to do last time, can we try again? And <laughs> Daniel turned me down. He said, let's play something else. Clearly he had de demarcated that I was too bad at video games and that we needed to do something else.
and so we played the we spent the rest of our play date doing physical activities like building a fort out of the couches and using pillows as things and so we spent the rest of the day doing physical adventurous play games and so my taste of this video game was just my taste of video games was just that one little level which I didn't understand, which I failed miserably, which I didn't even realize I was failing miserably, and I wasn't allowed to try again.